The First Descendant really reminds me of Metal Gear Survive. Cheap gameplay loop, you just grind for better weapons, better gear. I feel sorry for anyone who plays this and even worse tells their friends they should play together because he's a probably an addict and he doesn't even realize he's being taken advantage of. Before I trash the game I would like to take a second and explain how disgusting their end user license agreement is. Not only will they steal your data, not only will they sell it to a third party, they're not even responsible if your data gets stolen. How disgusting is that? To top it off, they have a file called blackcypher64.aes that we have no idea what it does. It could be anti-cheat, it could be spying on you all the time, maybe some ransomware. It's just disgusting. Yeah, so just remember this and avoid any other Nexon game. Now, to top it all off, if you're that dumb to give this company your hard-earned money, just remember that sometimes your money can just disappear. Yeah, that happens. Now the game is pretty basic, it's nothing you haven't already seen. MMORPG with guns and bullet sponging enemies. AI is so basic, it's laughable. If you're into mindlessly shooting without any real challenge or variety, this game is right up your alley. Nexon's definition of difficulty seems to involve turning enemies into bullet sponges. Like, instead of creating engaging challenges or, god forbid, smart gameplay, they just make enemies absorb ridiculous amount of damage. And what's the result? It's just an exercise in frustration where you spend more time shooting endless waves of enemies than actually enjoying the game. Now the grapple hook feature that could have added some fun to the game is utterly wasted. Instead of using it to create interesting puzzles or challenges, it's just there for show. I mean, it just leaves you wondering why is it even there? The narrative is so cringe inducing that you want to skip every single line of dialogue. English voice acting is really really painful, it's worse than mine. As far as the storyline goes, just forget about it, nobody knows what's going on, even the writers, nobody knows. Cash Shop is full of shitty overpriced cosmetics. Yeah, I mean Cash Shop really just shows you what kind of game this is. I mean it's just masquerading as a game. The game's monetization is so heavy handed that it's practically a showcase for Nexus Greed. Like the, the sheer number of purchases, like items, makes it clear that primary goal is just to drain your wallet. It barely manages to fit any meaningful content between all the opportunities to spend money. Progression is bare bones, like it's clear that it's been slapped in with minimal effort, offering little in terms of depth or reward. The combat seems engaging at first, but quickly becomes apparent that it's designed to be easy to break. Instead of having like a genuine challenge, it feels just like a grind. Like don't expect any depth here in this game. The, don't expect anything, the game is just barely a game, you it's there to waste your money and time. Like don't do this to yourself, there are tons of other games that you could be playing instead of this crap. I mean I would like to tell you something that I really liked about the game, just something that I could pick out, maybe maybe the graphics, I don't know, the graphics, it's always the graphics, the graphics are good, whatever, who gives a crap. I mean there is really nothing, like the music is generic, the, the UI is soulless, the developers are Japanese, 